Hey, what's up guys, Eric Garcia. I came across this video and I was, I don't know, I was disappointed. I don't know who told this guy to primer the wood. There's no manual on the manufacturer's uh, specifications. I did some research before I did this video and uh, I didn't find no manufacturer saying that you have to prime or ply. Well, this is the first time I've seen this. This is the perfect example when uh, when you take a guy to the roof for to be an apprentice and then the next step he does, he goes on his own and he's trying to do it on his own and that's the problem. See, the next time they replace our roof, they're going to have to remove all the fucking plywood. So the owner is going to have to pay for all that plywood to be removed along with, uh, with the peeling stick on the limb. And why you guys do that? I mean, you can do painting, you can do concrete, but no, don't do roof. I mean, this is a hard part. This is the hardest trade in the industry. Roofing. You know why? Because you're dealing with water. If you make a mistake, you're going to have water leaks. You're going to cause damage to the interior of the house. So homeowners out there, please, please, I'm begging you. Don't go don't go on the uh, social medias to look for a roofer. The next time you hire a roofer, go to the yellow pages and then look for a local roofer, do some research. How long they've been in business? What's the, you know, how many reviews he has? What's the license number? Check on the license number if it's bonded, uh, insured, you know, license, everything before you hire anyone, okay? But please don't fucking hire these guys, okay? Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm doing you a favor by uploading these videos. I do roof restoration like in the video before. I do torch down like in this video. And I don't scam no one, okay? Nobody. I stay behind my uh, workmanship and if anything goes wrong, I go back and fix it right away. I'm not saying I don't have any mistakes. I mean, every roofer has a little minor tiny little mistake, a leak here and there, but we go back and fix it right away and we take care of the problem. That's it, end of the story. This guy, they had a ton of leaks and uh, if you call them, the next time they they come back probably one or two times, then the third time that you call them, they change their number and you're never gonna see them again, okay? So if you can, if you keep hiring this kind of guys, they're gonna keep doing what they're doing. So homeowners out there, I strongly suggest you to stop hiring these guys. It's called Roof Hacks. Also, those uh, general contractors, cheap ass motherfuckers that they try to save up some money, instead of hiring a, a, a company with license company, they hire the cheapest guy from Home Depot and they do whatever they do because they're trying to save up some money. So I'm against all those contractors that they hire the the roofer, you know, from Home Depot or the roofer from the roofing company, they give them side jobs and they pay them a little bit more than the company and now they're making believe that he knows